Hello friends. So in this video, we will see another problem. Given a random process, how to check whether it is a white sense stationary or not. White sense stationary or not is very important topic in random process. So, so we will see few more problems on white sense stationary whether a given process is white sense stationary or not. So. A given process is white sense stationary or not, we have to verify two conditions. One is the mean of the random process that is expectation of x of t should be constant. So this is the first condition and the second condition is its autocorrelation function rxx of t comma t plus tau. That is expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau should be a function of only the time lag tau. Right? So if you go through the problem, given the random process x of t is equal to a cos omega naught t plus b sin omega naught t. So here omega naught is a constant. A and B are uncorrelated zero mean random variables having different density functions but same variance. So what we need to show? We need to show X of T is a white sense stationary process. So here omega naught is a constant but A and B are uncorrelated uncorrelated means uncorrelated means its correlation coefficient is zero correlation coefficient correlation coefficient is zero its correlation coefficient that is denoted with rho that is equal to zero next thing is they are having zero mean zero mean random variables so here it it was given first one is uncorrelated means correlation coefficient is zero. Second thing is zero mean random variables. So that is expectation of A is equal to expectation of B that is equal to zero. And the third thing is even though they are having different density function but they are having same variance same variance so the third one is it was given sigma a square is equal to sigma b square that is equal to sigma square so these are the three things that we have to infer or we have to derive or from these from this statement given a and b are uncorrelated zero mean random variables having different density function but the same variance so what is the variance of x formula variance of x variance of x that is nothing but sigma x square is nothing but expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square so this is the variance of x so here we have sigma a square so if you substitute sigma a square is equal to expectation of a square minus expectation of a expectation of a whole square so from the second thing expectation of a is equal to 0 so this is equal to expectation of a square what is sigma a square sigma a square is nothing but sigma square so this relation we will use later on this relation we will use later on similarly similarly sigma b square sigma b square is equal to expectation of b square minus expectation of b whole square again expectation of b is equal to 0 
so this is equal to expectation of p square so that is equal to again sigma square so this also we will use later on while showing the given random process is white sense stationary so the other thing that was given is correlation coefficient is zero what is correlation coefficient expression it is nothing but covariance of a comma b by covariance of a comma b by sigma a into sigma b that is equal to zero from this what is covariance of a comma b covariance of a comma b is zero covariance of a comma b is zero so what is the expression for again covariance of a comma b covariance of a comma b is nothing but expectation of a b expectation of a b minus expectation of a into expectation of b this is equal to zero so we know expectation of a is equal to zero and expectation of b is equal to zero so from this expectation of a b expectation of a b is zero so this relation is also useful while showing x of t is by itself stationary or not so these are the three things that we will use while showing while showing the given random process is white sense stationary one is this the other one is this one expectation of a b is equal to expectation of a b is equal to zero the other one is expectation of a square is equal to expectation of b square that is equal to sigma square this relation also we will use while showing x of t is a white sense stationary process now we will check the these two condition what are the two conditions that are required in order to show whether a given random process is white sense stationary or not expectation of x of t is constant the second one is autocorrelation function should be a function of tau only so first we will see we will check expectation of expectation of x of t expectation of x of t so that is equal to expectation of what is x of t it is a cos omega not t plus b sin omega not t b sin omega not t so here a and b are only the random variables omega not is a constant so cos omega not t and sin omega not t are not random variables so from the linearity property of expectation this we can write as expectation of a into cos omega not t plus expectation of b into sin omega not t so we know expectation of a is equal to zero expectation of b is equal to zero so this simply zero into cos omega not t plus 0 into sin omega not t so this will be 0 so expectation of x of t is equal to 0 which is a constant so first condition is satisfied first condition is satisfied what is the next condition we have to check expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau right first we will multiply x of t into x of t plus tau then we will apply the expectation operator x of t is a cos omega naught t plus b sin omega naught t into into for t plus tau in place of t we have to write t plus tau so it is simply it is simply a cos omega naught into t plus tau plus b sin 
omega naught into t plus tau. So these are two terms are there. In this two terms are there. So if you multiply, we'll get total four terms. Total four terms. So this is equal first term into first term. So a into a a square. This is cos omega naught t. This is cos omega naught t plus tau. So a square into cos omega naught t cos omega naught t plus tau first term into in this second term so a b cos omega naught t into sin omega naught t plus tau next second term into first term in this so again it is a b sin omega naught t cos omega naught t plus tau in this second term in this second term so b into b b square it is sin omega naught t sin omega naught t plus tau so these are the four terms that we will get if you multiply x of t into x of t plus tau. Now we will apply expectation on this product terms x of t into x of t plus tau. So as we have seen cos and sin terms are not random variables only a and b are random variable. So this is expectation of a square into cos omega naught t into cos omega naught t plus tau second term is it is plus expectation of a b into cos omega naught t into sin omega naught t plus tau again third term is expectation of a b into sin omega naught t into cos omega naught t plus tau and the last term is expectation of b square into sin omega naught t into sin omega naught t plus tau. So we know expectation of a b is equal to 0 and expectation of a square is equal to expectation of b square that is equal to sigma square. So these we will substitute here. So our final result is that is equal to expectation of a square is sigma square cos omega naught t cos omega naught t plus tau. As expectation of a b is 0 so this term becomes 0 and similarly this term also vanishes plus expectation of b square is again sigma square sin omega naught t sin omega naught into t plus tau. So sigma square is common in both the terms. So if we take sigma square common it is cos omega naught tau cos omega naught t plus tau plus sin omega naught t into sin omega naught t plus tau. So this is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So we can write cos a minus b. So that is equal to sigma square cos of omega naught t minus omega naught t minus omega naught tau. So these two will get cancelled. So we will have cos minus omega naught t but cos minus theta is simply cos theta. So this will be sigma square cos omega naught tau. So what is Rxx of that is expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau? 
it is simply sigma square into cos omega naught tau so this is a function of function of only the time lag tau so the second condition is also satisfied so therefore the given random process x of t is a wide sense as two conditions are satisfied it is a wide sense stationary process wide sense stationary process i hope everyone is able to understand how we are solved this problem or how we have verified the given random process is white sense stationary or not so for that what we have to do we have to check whether the mean is constant or not so that is the first condition expectation of x of t is constant the second one is the auto correlation function should be only the difference of tau so here the important thing is in the given problem it was given a and b are uncorrelated zero mean random variables having different density function but the same variance so zero mean means expectation of a is equal to expectation of b is equal to zero they are having same variance so sigma a square is equal to sigma b square is equal to sigma square that if we substitute we got expectation of a square is equal to expectation of b square is equal to sigma square and the next one is uncorrelated means its correlation coefficient is zero that means covariance of a comma b is equal to zero covariance of a comma b is nothing but expectation of a b minus expectation of a into expectation of b which is equal to zero from the given statement the means are zero so expectation of a b is equal to zero so these three conditions these are useful while showing the given random process is white sense stationary or not so if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section thank you for watching if you not subscribe to my channel please subscribe and share with your friends thank you